What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be a recap for Chucky Season 3, Episode 1, Murder at 1600. Episode 1 started with a little boy named Henry getting up from bed. He's visibly scared. It's nighttime and he goes to hide in his closet. We hear footsteps approaching his closet door and then his mother, Charlotte, First Lady Charlotte I should say, is revealed asking him what he's doing in the closet. Henry says someone told him his whole family is going to die. His mother shrugs it off, puts it, puts him to bed and says there's no such thing as ghosts. Henry says at least Joseph is here to protect him. And we see Joseph is just a good guy doll sitting in a chair next to his bed. Joseph talks to Henry and tells him ghosts are real. But his mom doubles down on ghosts not being real and tells him he can't sleep with her and his father tonight. She leaves the room. Henry whispers to Joseph that we got this. Then he goes to sleep and we pan to the doll coming to life, getting comfy in the bed. And then we zoom out to reveal this is Chucky just living with the president's family inside of the White House. The Collins family, the first family. The power goes out and the Secret Service rushes to get President Collins and his family downstairs as a precaution. Cooper and his fellow service members search the White House for suspicious behavior. And Joseph is discovered in the hallway by Teddy. President Collins and his family are shown in the elevator. Teddy gives Joseph to Henry. They are going five stories underground. Henry starts yelling the White House is haunted. The service dog barks at Chucky. Then lights go off in the elevator, but they turn back on and the Collins are allowed to go back upstairs to bed. Jake is shown hosting a live stream on social media. He gives an update to his audience on himself, Lexi and Devin. He reveals he's been coping with the tragedies in his life by tapping into his art. And it seems he's using his audience to track down a very specific good guy doll, likely the one we know is still out there based on the events of season two. The press secretary, Spiegel is answering questions to the media about last night's emergency at the White House. She reassure, reassures the media that there is nothing wrong and that they should talk about the crime bill. The Collins are shown having a meal together and having a meal together as a family at their table. And his oldest son, Grant, President Collins' oldest son, Grant, seems to have a problem with their family's lack of transparency, despite his dad running on transparency. Henry tells President Collins that Joseph doesn't want to go to school with him today, but stay and get a tour of the Oval Office. Secretary Spiegel and Vice President Spencer reveal that they were hacked last night, likely by Russia or North Korea. President Collins talks to Joseph briefly and says it's weird that Henry found a doll with that name. Lexi is shown dancing in her room doing thirst trap TikToks because she's desperate to find her sister Caroline. Lexi recounts her mother being killed on Christmas Eve, Lexi being or Caroline being kidnapped and begs for anyone with intel to reach out. Henry is at school with Teddy as his protection and Teddy tells him he needs to find friends his own age. Henry reveals to Teddy that he sometimes hears Joseph's heart beating before he is placed into the car to head home. President Collins notices Joseph is at his desk and not in the chair he left him in. Collins asks Samantha, Secretary Samantha, if Henry or anyone came into the office because he's trying to see who moved the doll as a joke. Henry and Grant are shown riding home together. President Collins meets with Charlotte. Henry asks where Joseph is and Teddy checks Joseph's room before he goes in. Teddy inspects Joseph, Joseph's and notices a knife in Joseph's pocket. Joseph comes to life since, of course, this is Chucky and swiftly grabs Teddy's gun and shoots him in the chin, blowing his head off. Devin is shown talking to his podcast audience, recounting the sprees at his religious school, the rally at the Hackensack town and Charles Lee Ray's history. Devin is working to bring evidence on their two foot tall suspect, who we know is Chucky. Spiegel reveals to the media that Teddy seems to have killed himself and that the Collins are asking for privacy. The crime scene is being set up. Henry asks if Teddy will haunt him and when he, when he can have Joseph back. President Collins tells Henry to be brave. Grant has an intense conversation with one of the Secret Service agents he is smoking weed with. President Collins and Charlotte are shown smoking out of a bong together and mourning Teddy. We find out that Joseph is an odd name because it's Grant and Henry's deceased brother so the collins already have a brother named joseph already had a child named joseph who died and chucky just took up that moniker 
Devin and Jake are shown laying together and kissing. It looks like they want to have sex, but are nervous and inexperienced, clearly. Lexi, Devin, and Jake all get texts, but then Chucky calls Jake asking if these bitches miss him. Jake tells him to drop the location and they'll pull up. Chucky gives them a clue and hangs up. Lexi, Devin, and Jake are living at Mrs. Fairchild's place and she's homeschooling them, it seems. We are shown Teddy's funeral. The reporter from earlier is shown collecting details because details she couldn't or she's shown collecting details that she shouldn't know and it seems she wants to expose this family isn't as transparent as they claim to be mrs fairchild grades papers while the trio continues to discuss their search for chucky miss fairchild tells them she's starting a new lesson plan for them the trio sees the news about teddy's death and realize that chucky is at the white house that is the recap for chucky season three episode one let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below and i'll continue to have weekly recaps like i've been doing for the past two years and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video